Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how was your day? How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Let's see. One second, please. We are going to start in a moment. One quick second, please. Very good. We are just waiting for everybody else to join the class. Okay, one second. I can say here, good evening to Adan, Carlos, Herbert, Maria, Monica, Santos, Wilber, Enrique. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Let's see. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me. Uh, me encantaría decir eso en inglés, pero me cuesta algo. Eh, bueno. Con respecto a, al tema de la participación, uh -huh. pues en algunas ocasiones pues mm, no participo porque tiendo a confundirme un poquito y tengo que reflexionar bastante sobre el tema para poder opinar. Y no es que esté malo equivocarse, solo que pues algunos tienen algún conocimiento más amplio y ahí nos van arrastrando, pero eh, la verdad es que, que es interesante la clase. Eh, los juegos este, como parte del aprendizaje igual están muy interesantes y no, no se desmotive ni, ni crea de que, que nosotros no queremos participar, solo que a veces nos quedamos así, como dicen los españoles, flipando. Ok. Y, well. y pues gracias por su esfuerzo. Oh, you're very welcome. And I truly appreciate your feedback, right? So, eh, realmente aprecio lo que usted me está diciendo en este momento. Eh, pero cuando me refiero a la participación, también va incluida la parte de las preguntas que ustedes puedan tener acerca del, del tema. Es decir, si en algún momento yo estoy explicando y ustedes, como se me lo acaba de expresar, se queda en la luna o no entiende el tema completamente, es ahí donde yo pido la participación para que ustedes me digan, mire, honestamente no entendí. ¿Okay? Entonces yo puedo volver a explicar y hacer que usted se sienta cómodo dentro del tema para que pueda participar de las actividades, eh, dar su opinión y, o colaborar con las respuestas del ejercicio que se esté trabajando. A eso me refiero yo más que todo con la participación, porque lo que sucede es que yo pregunto, ¿hay preguntas? ¿Tienen dudas? Entonces nadie me dice nada. Entonces, ¿qué debo asumir yo? ¿Qué entendieron? ¿O qué tengo que repetir todo otra vez? Entonces, si ustedes me dicen, mire, yo sí no entendí esto, o ah, tiene que aclarar lo siguiente, 
Entonces yo vuelvo y repito, porque lo que yo quiero es que ustedes entiendan el tema y participen también de los ejercicios eh, para que no se sientan también ustedes frustrados, ¿verdad? De decir, me conecto porque ni modo, ¿verdad? Pues no es que diga, me conecto, aprendo, participo y entiendo, ¿verdad? Eso más que todo. Teacher. Yes. Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches. Este, yo tengo un comentario también relacionado a lo, a lo que se está diciendo. Uh -huh. y que cada uno de nosotros tiene una forma de aprender of course. En, por, la, por la edad que tenemos. ¿va? Y cada quien lo asimila de acuerdo a, al interés que le pone o, o como le entienda. Yo siempre le he preguntado cuando he tenido dudas. Y me ha sacado de, de, de algunas dudas que siempre he tenido, valga la redundancia. Uh -huh. eh, el método que ocupa a mí me gusta bastante porque cuando pone a leer es una la forma de, de, de poder enriquecer nuestra pronunciación. Uh -huh. Y como el inglés es práctico, además de es práctico también es de ponerle atención a la parte de la gramática. Entonces, eh, relacionado a eso, pues... Yo cuando me logro conectar, en este caso que estoy conectado, que no, por el momento no he tenido problemas de, de, de señal, pues estoy este, con la gana de aprender. Y ahí voy también con mis otros celulares y buscando palabras que desconozco. Y cuando me confundo mejor le pregunto a usted. Eh, a diario estoy escuchando algunas frases en inglés, en internet. Me gusta oír la música... Eh, también la que se logra entender en inglés y así sucesivamente como ser un poco autodidacta y entonces eh, pero igual ahí vamos y lo relacionado a la plataforma yo lo terminé desde hace ocho días el jueves pasado terminé todo pero igual este, siempre hago hasta lo imposible por aprender inclusive a veces le llamo a lucha ¿va? Que, que no estamos ni en clase pero nos ponemos a platicar ahí y él me dice, eh, mire, esta parte es así. Entonces, es la forma o es mi comentario que tengo, pero en el caso mío, pues, a veces no pregunto porque me ha quedado claro bien las cosas. Y yo pienso que quizás la mayoría o algunos de nosotros lo que nos cuesta es que eso son las palabras de enlace para poder hacer unas preguntas realmente ya en inglés y ya no hablar español. En caso de una eso emergencia... Es lo que tengo yo. Bueno, es mi único comentario, de teacher. De, de choque, como nosotros ya tenemos la capacitación, ya sabemos cómo re, redaccionar, dijo Cantimbla, a la hora de los enfrentamientos. Teacher, el micrófono. Thank you very much. Los disculpas del caso. Bueno, um, well, le decía yo a. Uh, eh, me dijo anteriormente era. I forgot here who was it. Al compañero que estaba eh, compartiendo la palabra before era Mr. Who was it? Yo le estaba comentando, Enrique. David, David, no, Enrique. Who was it? Enrique Pérez. Thank you. Thank you, Enrique. Eh, gracias de verdad por eh, el comentario. Le agradezco mucho su esfuerzo, eh, su paciencia y también por la iniciativa que usted tiene, right? Gracias también por el trabajo hecho en la plataforma. So I really appreciate that as well. Así que lo invito y lo motivo a que siga trabajando de esa manera para que igual su nivel siga mejorando y eh, usted pueda también seguir aprendiendo, right? So thank you so much for your comments. Uh, well, you, everybody, let's just continue here. As you know, in every class, I like to start the class with a tongue twister so you can participate and you can, um, you know, practice your pronunciation right here, all right? So let's just review this one right here. It says like here, the pepi, which is this one right here, 
the pronunciation of this one is gonna be Pepe, like this one, Pepe, Poppy, which is gonna be this one. All right, the prince, which is this one right here. Presented, the princess, produced, files. Of poop. Poop. In the palace. All right, you go on this one right here. So, the peppy poppy, the prince presented, the princess produced files of poo in the palace. Right, one more time. Let me go and say it slower. So, in this case, it's going to be the peppy poppy, the prince presented, the princess produced files of poo in the palace. The peppy poppy, the prince presented, the princess produce piles of poo in the palace. One more time. The peppy poppy, the prince presented, the princess produced piles of poo in the palace. Okay, now everybody, I am going to give you two minutes so you can practice this on Twister. If you have questions about pronunciation, please ask me. I will be more than happy to help you with that. Please go ahead. Continue. Practice, practice, please. Okay. Questions? No questions? You can tell me. No question. Okay. Right now, so practice the tongue twister. The peppy poppy, the prince presented the princess, produced pass of poo in the palace. Let's practice. Bye. Okay, so have one minute and 30 seconds. The peppy poppy, the prince, the prince, and the prince produce piles of poo in the palace. In the palace, correct. Bye. Magdalena, you have a question or are you a volunteer? In the palace. Yeah, I'll go into it. Okay. The Pepe, Poppy, Princess Present, the Princess Crowse, Pies, Pop, of Pop, of Poop, of Poop, teacher, in of the poo, place. There you go. Excellent. Remember, produced. Repeat, produced. The Pepe, Poppy, Princess mm -hmm. Present, the Princess Frozen files of poo in the place. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. I can see here I have more volunteers. So I have also Adam. All right. Adam Iglesias, go ahead. Uh, the Pepe Poppy, the Prince Present, the mm -hmm. Prince Frozen files of up in the palace. Mm -hmm. In the palace. All right, very good. Excellent. So the Pepsi wow. Poppy, the Prince pre presented. All right, thank you so much. So you go on the next one. Thank you, Adam. All right, so let's continue with the next one, which is going to be Herbert. Herbert, go ahead. The Pepe Poppy, the Prince present, the Prince produce piles of poo in the palace. In the palace. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So then the next one is going to be Enrique. Enrique, go ahead. He tenido por el inconveniente, teacher, ahorita. Se me ha desconfigurado el, la pantalla del telefonito. Okay. No problem. Let me see if you can see it right now. 
If not, we'll go with um, David. Ya, 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 The Prince produce pie of of poo eh, se me perdió de más poppy in the palace in the palace sí, in the como palace. la pantalla del teléfono es pequeña se me, se me hace un poco <laughs> difícil no problem All right. thank you teacher You're welcome. Thank you. We go with David now. Thank you. Good job, Enrique. David, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. The Peppy Poppy, the Prince present, the Prince produce pile of food in the palace. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much for this one. Good job, David. That was actually very nice. Super simple for you. Then let's continue with the next one. Any other volunteers? So we can finish with this activity. For me. Thank you, Carlos. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. The Peppy Puppy, the Prince, the present, the Prince produce parts of the poo in the place. In the place, exactly, right? Which is not place, it's palace. Repeat it. Palace. No. Palace. Pa palace. Okay. palace. No, oh, okay. no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm having All right, excellent. So let's continue with the next one. All right. Uh, anybody else who would like to join the, uh, the, the activity so we can practice the pronunciation? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Edmundo. Please go ahead. The Peppy Poppy, the Prince present, the Prince produce pile of pop in the palace. Thank you so much. Just remember, Edmundo, that the verb present is in past, so it's going to be presented. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Well, let's just continue with this one right here, my friends. And let's see what the first activity for today is going to be here. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, how am I going to volunteer? Yes. Oh, Saul, go ahead. Okay. The Peppy Puppy, the Prince present, the Princess produced piles of poop in the palace. Very good, very good, very good. That was actually Prime. nice. Saul. Just remember, Prime. this one, it's like Prince. Prince, Prince. Uh -huh. And this is Princess. Princess. There okay. you go. Excellent. Thank you Thank very you, much, teacher. my friends. All right, so let's just continue with the first activity here. And let's have this review. Review about the activity that we were, you know, studying yesterday about summer any, right? So, well, let's see. Here, I will need your help. Some volunteers who can help me to... Um, you know, choose the correct answer, whether it's some or any, right? So let's see, who's going to be my first volunteer here for number one? Some or any, what do you think? Some. All right, so? There is some milk in the fridge. It's some milk in the there fridge? some milk. All right, excellent. So, yes, it is some because it is affirmative, right? Mm -hmm. So, exactly. It's positive. Then, number two. Oh, number two. It says... We don't need any floor. Floor. Very good. Excellent. It is negative, right? So, we are going to go with any. Any. Exactly. Because it's negative. All right? David, can you help me with number three? Or do you have a question? Uh, number three. Yes, please. Can I have... Some... Can I have some water, please? Okay, excellent. So, like that one. Now, people, the question here, it says, it's a question, so it goes with some or any. Are there any? Any. any. No, 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 number Can three. The question, water, teacher, please. there is any. All right, excellent. So that is absolutely correct. All right, so, but we have an exception to the rule. What's the exception to the rule right here? It's going to be very simple. All right, so any is para questions cuando estamos preguntando de si hay o no acerca de un objeto, right? So, yeah. hay agua, hay café, hay jugo, etc., right? 
pero cuando estamos, ya sea, pidiendo u ofreciendo, so you're asking or offering, so aquí sí vamos a aplicar la excepción a la rule, right? So, and we will have some. Right? So, aunque sea una pregunta, vamos a ocupar some. Why? Because in this question, I am asking to have something. Right? So, Puedo tomar algo de agua. Exactly. Right? So, la pregunta no es, ¿hay agua? La pregunta es, ¿Puedo tomar agua? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, which is different. Entonces, just because of the context of the question, you are going to use some. Right? Okay. Is that, is that correct? I mean, is that clear for you? Yes? Yes, okay. sir. Veamos la siguiente question. Let's pay attention to the question number four. Ahí vamos a ver qué está preguntando esta question. What is this question asking? It says, are there some, are there any, any, rich? Are there any, 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 exactly. any, Entonces, es any, porque está pidiendo si hay. Exactly. Entonces, en esta question here, the number three, Pusimos some porque estoy pidiendo agua, right? En la number four quedamos any porque simplemente estoy preguntando si hay o no yeah. lo que pide aquí. All right, so, understand? Yes? Questions? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. So then we go on the next one. Number five. There are some. There are some. One second. There are some. Okay. Teacher, Phi yes. is any. Any. All right. So, Phi is any. There you go. Yes or no, people? Maria and Magdalena says this one. Do you think it's correct? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. It is correct. It's number five, a question. Some. Now, pero... Some. Algunos. Este, algunos. Hay algún gato. Gatos in the garden. So, There yes, are yes. some. <laughs> exactly. Some. Exactly, exactly. It's exactly. It's a plural. Uh -huh. it's a, it's a, no, sí, teacher. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm sorry. No problem. You're good. All right. So then um, you go with the number six. Ah, the number six is also a question. Some. some. Exactly, Adam. So that is some. Why? Why is that, Adam? Would Why? Like some. Why? Chocolate. Do you like some chocolates? It's some. Quieres. Quieres. Some. Okay, some, Adam. Why? Por qué? Uh -huh. Because Porque no es una pregunta. Estaría... It is a question. It is a question. ¿Quieres un chocolate? Ajá. Es una pregunta, pero Som está correcto aquí. Why? O sea, sí está correcto, sí, sí. pero ¿por qué? Because the chocolate is contable? No. Because the question is about offering something. La pregunta viene acerca de ofrecer el chocolate. Oh. ¿Understand? Ajá, está ofreciendo chocolates. Exacto, exacto. Que es como la novela. Cuando es de ofrecer o cuando es de, de, pedir. de, que, de medir, mm -hmm. se usa some, teacher. That is correct. Así como usted lo dijo, María. That's what it's like that. It's exactly like that. All right. So when you are asking for that, all right, cuando usted está pidiendo algo o eh, está... Y, um, ofreciendo, ofreciendo algo, like offering, vamos a usar some, aunque okay. sea una pregunta. Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. Yes. Si solamente estoy preguntando si hay de, algún, de alguna cosa, entonces ahí voy a utilizar any. Solamente si pregunto si hay acerca de. ¿Understand? O pues si está ofreciendo. Si está ofreciendo es. Some. 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 Exacto. ¿Cómo right, sería so. any? Any sería nada más cuando yo pregunto si hay. Let's put an example right here. Right. Yo quiero preguntar si hay chocolate. Ah, ya, ya. Aquí se like, is there any chocolate? Aquí nos queda así, right? Con any. Yes. Yes. But any. if I want to say like, eh, ¿querés chocolate? So I can say like, do you want some chocolate? 
¿Por qué? Porque en esta question que yo tengo aquí, estoy ofreciendo chocolate. I'm offering the chocolate. Y en la primera pregunta, estoy preguntando si hay. Is there any chocolate? Uh -huh, exactly. Las dos son correctas, of course, right? Of, both, both of them are correct. But the difference is, in the first example, I'm asking if there is or not chocolate. And in the second example, I'm saying, like, if you want the chocolate. Understand? Yeah, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Great. Excellent. No problem. So, then you go with the next one right here. It says number seven. Uh, I don't have some or any. Any. Any money. That any is correct. It's negative. It's exactly, negative. Exactly, I exactly. don't have any, any money. money. Uh -huh, exactly. Remember, guys, lo, lo creo que lo más importante de cada tema es que usted no solo me diga la respuesta correcta, sino también entienda por qué esa es la respuesta. Es el secreto de la clase. Right? So, eh, de cualquier tema, of course, or any topic, that's the secret. All right, number eight. There aren't some or any, any oranges. Any oranges on the table. Because exactly. it's negative, like the sentence is negative. The sentence is negative. On the table. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good, excellent. So, and then number nine, it's like- Why, teacher? You... Excuse me? Why there, there, are, there aren't any oranges on the table? Because as you can see here, Magdalena, this is the negative one, aren't. Um, you see that? It is, it is contracted. It's supposed to be are not. Okay, thank you. All right. I don't, I don't know. Okay, no problem. So, number nine. Okay. It says here, have you got some or any? Any. 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 Any brother. Any, any brother. Any brother. Es question. Oh, it's a question. ¿Y qué está preguntando la question? Let me see if you understood. What is the question asking? Tienes algunos it's... hermanos. Tienes o no tienes hermanos. All right. So. Hermanos o hermanas. Hermanos o hermanas. Very good. Brothers or sisters. And then we go with the last one. The last one there, it's going to be very simple. Which is. I don't, I don't have any friends. Any friends. Exactly. It is any right here because. You have the negative in don't, all right? Very good, excellent. So thank you very much. All right, all right. So let's see here. Any questions? No question. No questions? Well, let me congratulate you, my friends, because you were doing a fantastic job on this one. So super good. Thank you. Let's just continue cool. here. Clean this one in the next activity here. All right, everybody, the following activity, it's about vocabulary, all right? We are going to review this vocabulary. It will be important if you can write down the meaning and we are going to go on this one. It, right now, I want someone who helped me to read these instructions. It says, these adjectives are used to describe houses and apartments. Which words are positive and which are negative? ¿Quién me puede ayudar a repetir esta instrucción? Who can help me to repeat that instruction? This oh, adjective you, are Maria, used to describe house. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Mundo. Maria, raise the hand first. No but problem, think. no problem, teacher. Go ahead. I understand. Take it easy. This, these adjectives are used to describe house and apart, apartments which Word are positive, which are negative, why, p, or n next to each word. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Maria, for participating. Now let's review the pronunciation of these words. The first one, Maria, adjectives. Repeat it. Adjectives. Very good. The next one right here, describe. 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 Very good. And the next one right here, positive. 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 Exactly. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much oh, for yeah. helping me. And now let's review the vocabulary here. All right. So the first one, everybody, the first one, bright, very bright. Uh -huh. Repeat it. Bright. 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 Number one. All right. So bright. Now, 
tell me uh, what is well according to the example there that is a positive word but what is bright my friends what is it illuminado illuminado exactly right so like that one so yeah that is actually a positive word right brillante brillante mm -hmm. brillante claro luminoso radiante etc right right very good, right? So it's a positive word. Then the second one, it says, repeat it with me, comfortable. 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 There you go. Excellent. And of course, what letter are you going to add to this? Um, letter P. Letter P, exactly, right? What is it? P. Because it's something positive. Yes or no? Still. Uh -huh. Letter P. Very good. Can you go with the next one? All right. Convenient. Please repeat it. Convenient. Convenient. So, is that something positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Something positive. positive. All right. Excellent. So, thank you very much on this one. So, then we have the next word. Uh huh. What's the next word? Do you know the meaning? Cramped. Huh? Very good. Well, look, cramped. Cramped. What Trump. is it? Estrecho. Estrecho, right? So, do you think that's going to be something positive no, no, no. or negative? No. Negative. It's oh. negative because imagine imagine a house, negative. you know, with like cramped spaces. It's not going to be uh, good, right? Then you go with the next one. Dangerous. Negative. Repeat it. Dangerous. Negative. 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 Huh? negative. Yes. It's actually negative. correct. Negative. Oops. Negative. All right. So then, everybody, the last one. Dark. Repeat it. Dark. Negative. Dark. Exactly. Dark. It is negative. 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 Dark is Okay. Negative. Very good. Then, the next one. How do you pronounce the next one? Do you know it or not? No. Mm -hmm. Dingy. 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 Uh -huh. How is it? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Dingy. One second here. Okay. There you go. Excellent. So, yeah, the pronunciation you're saying is actually correct. Dingy. Dingy. Dingy, right? So, and that is this is a synonym of dirty. Dingy. Right? Dingy, it's like very sucio. Negative. Uh -huh. Negative. So this is absolutely something negative, right? Imagine a house which is dingy, no way, right? Very good. Let's just write this one right here quickly, which is this is negative. All right. There you go. Expensive, expensive, expensive. It's negative. Yeah, expensive. something really expensive. It's negative, right? So. Yes, right. Very good. Excellent. So the next one. Huge, repeat it, huge. Huge. Very huge. good, excellent. So what is something positive. huge? Positive. The positive. Yes, positive. it's like big, right? So of course, a huge house, a huge yes. bedroom, for example, etc. right? Now, let's just continue with the next one. Inconvenient, repeat it. Inconvenient. Inconvenient, Inconvenient. all right, what is that? It's negative. Yeah. Negative. Of course, negative, right? So then, everybody, how do you pronounce this next word? No es modern, right? So what is it? Modern. Mm -hmm. Modern. Modern. Negative. Modern. Modern. Mm -hmm. modern. modern. Mm -hmm. Will that be negative or a positive? Positive. Positive. Positive, of course, right? Oh. Imagine if you have a house that you can say like, hey, Alexa, turn off the lights, right? So then the lights are on. Gonna be nice. All right. So then, nice. noisy. Nice. Noisy. Negative. 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 Yes. Like normally in in San Salvador, apartments are noisy. Yes or no, my friends? All yeah. right. So then, private. Repeat it, private. S -I -T -T -R -E. Positive. All right. So yeah, private is something positive. Yes positive. or no? Positive. Of course, right? So then, quiet. 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 Positive. Quiet. 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 Quiet.
quiet, it's the opposite of noisy. All right, so yes. Then you go with this one, safe. Repeat it, safe. 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 So what is uh, safe? Something positive, of course. Very positive. good, thank you. All right, so the next word right there, how do you pronounce it? Negative. Negative. Uh -huh. Right, shabby. Negative. Huh? Shabby, all right. Shabby, like shabby. You know, Barcelona. Shabby. <laughs> exactly, right? So, like, shabby. Right. Oh. Yeah, you know, shabby, negative. Negative. Right, so. Negative. Sorry for the Barcelona fans. Small. All right, so. Small. Oops, we have. Negative. There you go. Okay. <coughs> Small, of course, negative, right? Yeah. And then the opposite, spacious or spacious. What do you think, people? Positive. Yes, which is means like this, spacious, so that will be spacious, all right? Spacious, spacious, and of course, it's something positive, all right? Excellent. Do you have questions about the vocabulary, people? Something that it was not clear. Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. What do you mean? Easy. Mm, which one? Can you tell me where? In the primera, segunda, tercera sección. Which one? ¿A dónde es esa palabra, my friend? ¿En qué sección? En la segunda columna. Dingy. Es, es correcto. This dingy. one. Oh, dingy. Dingy. Yes, dingy, dingy it's like very. Sucio. Dingy. 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 You're welcome. Y la tercera de esa columna, teacher. Huge. It's like big. Esa, la pronunciación. Huge. You. 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 Huge. 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 Algo así. Huge. 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 Oh, All right. Very good. Questions? Oh, okay. Any questions? Xavi. Um, Which one? Xavi. Oh. All right. What is Xavi, my friends? Lo que escuchamos antes? El mal estado. El mal estado, right? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. So now let's just continue now with the next activities. So let's see here. Okay, everybody, now that we have the vocabulary about this, it's time for you to work and describe you how. Describe your home. Yes, yeah, so describe your home. Exactly, right? So you can ask those questions right here. Vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms. Así que please pay attention, okay. right? Um, Let's see this one. Antes de trabajar en los breakout rooms, vamos a pasar lista para ver si están todos presentes. Y que pueda el micrófono abierto y que puedan participar. Y si dicen presente, automáticamente participan. Right? Uh -huh. Let's see. All right, excellent. So, Adán Iglesias. Presente. Present. Uy, dos Adán ahí, ¿no? All right, so, my God. Son hermanos. Me quedo angry. Ah, right. uh, Rivera. No, all right. Carlos Alberto Santos. Uh, no, uh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Sí. David Antonio Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Edith Consuelo. All right, Edmundo Martinez. Present teacher. 
Enrique Pérez, thank you. Ajá. Present teacher. Eh, <laughs> all right, so, te avisaron. There you go. So, eh, Erika Guillén. No here, all right. So, Ever Gallegos. Present teacher. Thank you. Franklin de la O. Not here. All right, Jose Benjamin Gavidia. Thank you. All right, Juan Francisco Arrazabal. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Magdalena. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Monica Ivet. All right, excellent. Present teacher. Present, Monica. Okay, Santos Arias. Mm -hmm. Yes, in Wilber, Rafael Rivas. I am here, present teacher, teacher Santos Arias. Thank you, Mr. Arias. All right, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, so everybody said present. Entonces, vamos teacher, a teacher, eh, a mí no me mencionó. Eh, veamos, my friend, no worries, no worries. Ahorita vemos. Eh, eh, Herbert, right? Present teacher. Hebrew Aristides, yes. Okay. His phone. No problem. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. So now let's just go to the breakout rooms. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Por favor, ingresen a los breakout rooms. Right? Si alguien se queda solo, me avisa para moverlo a otro. Right? So, please continue. Juan Francisco o Carlos Edgardo Cruz, ahí está ya. Very good. Este, es una falta de mundo, el mundo. Questions, el mundo, problems with the computer or anything? Let's see. Let me join them one room now. Going to be. Oh, I think they'll see. hombre. Ajá, pero hay, pero hay que tener ahí presente que va a contestar. Yes, Por, yes. Eh, va en la tres, este, y en la, en la tres, ¿qué dice? Que si Soy hay igual, baños cuarto. en los cuartos. En la cuatro. Que si hay tina si en el baño. Que hay Ajá, exacto, exacto. Si hay tina en el baño, yes. Y en la no, cinco. No, en el baño. Number five, our terms. Ah, our chairs. Es un Son... tipo de silla, no sé. Si eh... habrá alguna mecedora. ¿no? <risa> <risa> es el... Una marca. 
el sillón, es un sillón, pero el sillón individual. Ok, si hay algún sillón. Ajá. Útil, y, y la wrong. otra es, ¿dónde útil. está la oficina? Si hay oficina. Ah, útil y wrong. Si hay cuarto, no sé, útil y wrong, ¿cómo lo, lo tradu se traduce? Uh -huh. Cinco objetos, el otro, cinco objetos que, que están en el cuarto. ¿Eh? ¿Es así? Cinco objetos que están en el cuarto. Correcto. ¿Y o sea, cinco cuál es su... Que están en su cuarto? Y eh, your favorite place in the house, el lugar favorito dentro de la casa. Entonces, uno pregunta, el otro contesta, sería así. Así es, y después se regresan. All right, so, you know. Por ejemplo, yo le pregunto a usted y después una pregunta a mí, por ejemplo. No está fácil, Sierra. <ríe> yes, it is. No le pregunto yo. Bueno, pregúntame la primera ahí, pues. Ok, excelente. That's the attitude. Adam, let's see. Do you live in a house or in an apartment? I live in a house. In the house, okay. How many bedrooms are there? Mm. Number two. How many bedrooms? ¿Cuántos que son? Cuartos. Cuartos. Hay en la casa. Ah, ahí, se dice, ahí. ahí se dice. ¿Cómo Three. se dice hay? Hay. There are, porque es plural. There are. Mm -hmm. Sí, Pedro. There are, sí, there are. Ah, there are three. Pedro. Pedro, very good, excellent. Is there a bath in the bathroom? Eh. Bath era esquina, de... no. Bath era la cuarto, la cuarto de esquina, la bañera, como la bañera. ¿Cuántas esquinas qué dice ahí? No, no, no. En la número 3 dice que se ve una bañera en el baño. Bañera. Tipo jacuzzi. Ajá, no, no. Ándale, así. No. No. So no, but good. No, no. Apóyenme ahí. No bad in the bathroom. No bad in the bathroom. No bad, no bad in the bathroom. Okay, very good. And then, are there any air armchairs? Yes. Armchair, el, el yes. sofá que era. Es como un sillón, mm. dijo. Armchair. Ah, es ese sillón individual. Uh -huh. Va que sí, como un sillón, Epa. Yes. There is no bathroom in the bathroom. There uh -huh. are... Yes, yes, there are. Uh, okay, excellent. It's there a, a utility room. ¿Qué sería un utility room? Es como... Uh -huh. ¿Un cuarto principal? Mm, no, es lo que nosotros le llamamos aquí como un cuarto de lavado. Okay. Sí, sí, es la como que se utiliza más que otros. Ajá, normalmente en las casas americanas hay un cuarto donde está nada más la lavadora, la secadora. You know? mm -hmm. Y ahí tiene todo lo de like, um, eh, el jabón, etcétera, etcétera. O ahí se ordena la ropa, whatever. Entonces, eh, secadora, leva, lavadora. Ajá. Nosotros here in El Salvador no tenemos un utility room, la pila está afuera, right? So, there are not on the room. So there, are, there is no utility room. There is right? no laundry room. Exactly. All right. So there is no laundry room. Okay. There, there is. Como es? There is there not. Is. There is not. There is not. Uh huh. There is not. Okay. Very good. Excellent. And let's see what's next. Next. Okay. The next one says, is there an office? 
que tiene oficina house? en la casa. Algo así. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. There are not. There are not. There is not office. Exactly. There, there is not there, office. There is not, there is not office. office. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. All right. So let's see this one. Cinco objetos principales del cuarto. Yeah. I mean, no las principales, pero lo que usted tenga. Por ejemplo, puede decir, ¿cómo se dice hay? Dijimos que si es plural sería there are. Y si es there plural, are. Sería, oh, there is. There are. Singular para uno, there is. Plural para varios, there are. There so, are. Varios, say, por ejemplo. Are China. Sería, hay, ¿cuántas hay ahí? ¿Una o varias? There are four chairs. Ajá, exactly. There are four chairs. All right. Y si quiero no en la cama. There is a. There are three. Eh, hay una cama. Por ejemplo, si es singular. There are two beds. Si fuera. Hay there dos is. Camas. There is a bell, una uh -huh. cama. There is a bell. Si es singular sería there is. Si es plural, por ejemplo, dos para arriba, there are. Uh -huh. y, y el número de cosas que haya. There are three beds. For example, ok. Pero remember, estamos hablando de los cinco objetos en el cuarto. Entonces sería ah. th there is. There is. Uh -huh. There is a there bell. Is. There, there is, is a, a bed, llamamos uno. Uh -huh. What else? There, there, there is, is a, a bell. Our chair. There is a chair. No, no, you have there dos. is a TV. There is a TV. We have three. Uh -huh. there, there is, is a picture. Good bar. There is a picture. It's on a photo. There, there is uh -huh. a refrigerator. A refrigerator <laughs> in the cuarto. In the bedroom. Yes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's right, so. <laughs> there yeah, is a cafeteria, the también. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. So, well, very good. So, Yeah, the, ah, but the one, right? We're missing one. Let's see. What is your favorite place in your home? Lugar favorito de su casa. You can say my qué? favorite place is. ¿Cuál es el lugar favorito? ¿Cómo es esa sala? Living room. Living, living room. Mm -hmm. ¿Ah? Living room. Living room. Now, my the, favorite place is. The living room, huh? for example. Is yeah. living room. Correct. Ok, terminamos entonces. All right, regresemos a la clase principal. Y de aquí van a salir un par de voluntarios. Okay? My Very favorite good. place is the patio. Ok, that's fine. All right. Very good. Let's see, one second. We can continue. Okay, very good. Regresemos entonces a la... Okay, very good. Excellent. Hello, everybody. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, we have a volunteer, huh? Yes. Let go, Wilber. Ya se notó Wilber ahí, ya no ganó. Because... Uh... Hi, my friend. All right, excellent. So, yeah. Wilber, yo, start... Wilber yo le pregunto y yo te contesta. Oh, that's nice. Very good. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, Mr. Wilber. Uh, describe your house. Uh, question number one. Do you live in the house or in the apartment? I live in house. Excellent, Mr. Wilber. Question number two. How many bedrooms are there? There are two bedrooms. Okay, question number three. Is there a bath in the background? 
No, eh, no dicen. Ok, question number four. Are there any art change? Yes. Ok, question number five. Is there uh, an utility room? No, no, no art utility room. Ok, question number six. Is there an office? Nothing. Uh, question number seven. Uh, knife five object that are in your bedroom. Um five. Five. Yes. Yeah. Um, um no. sí, sí, me, sí, entiendo la pregunta, pero no me acuerdo los nombres de los objetos en inglés. TV, refrigerador, the pic, table, TV, closet, picture, picture, yes, picture, um, ventilador, ¿cómo sería? Fan, 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 part two, um, three, um, espejo, mirror, yeah, mirror, mirror. La cama. A cam. Bad. Bed. Cama bad. is bed? Correct. Bed. Okay. okay. Finally, question. What is your favorite place in your house? My favorite place is um um living room. Uh, sala. Yes. yes. What is a sala? <laughs> Living room. Living room. Living room. Yeah. Thank you very much for your for your help. You Excellent, Excellent Mr. Strange. Wilber. Thank you guys. Thank you. That was actually super good. All right. Appreciate it. Aha. Uh -huh. Another volunteer. Who is it? Uh -huh. Any other volunteer? Lo que ya pasamos, vamos a seleccionar. Señor este. Enrique elige uno y, y el otro. Okay. okay. Yo elijo a, a, al Mr. Oya. Ok. I am eh, el Mr. Saúl, Saúl Ernesto Martínez. Lo veo ready ahí. Ok, ok. <laughs> All right. Who's asking the questions? ¿Quién pregunta? Oya pregunta. Ok, cool. Mr. Oya, go ahead. Uh, do you live in the house or I in apartment? Apartment, yes. I live in a house. Okay. Uh, how many how many bedrooms are there? Uh, two two bedrooms. Oh, uh, is there a bed in the bedroom? No, a bed. Uh, are there? Any archers? Archers? Uh, no, no archers. Is there is there is utility room? Utility room? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have utility room. Oh, is there an is there an office? Mm. No, no, no office. And nai nai is nai fi object that are in your bedroom. Um, I have a fan. I have a child. I have a bed. I have a table. Uh, I have a mirror. Oh, uh, what is your favorite? What is your favorite plus in your in your home? My favorite place is a living room. Oh, living room. A TV, a football, and all that Yes. <laughs> Watching TV. <laughs> all right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good job, Mr. Oya, and super good job, Mr. Martinez. Right? That was actually super good. All right? Thank right. you. Thank en palabritas como place. Place. Place, place, place. place. What's your favorite place in your home? 
Exactly. Y cabal, justo antes de esa, right before that one, la primera palabra, name. Name five. Name five objects. All right. Name five exactly. objects. Oh, In the bedroom. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Ahora, Mr. Oya, you, you select someone and Mr. Martinez, you select another person. Uh, my, my friend, Maria Magdalena. Uh, for we are Iglesias. Okay. Alan Iglesias and Hans Ward. Yo te voy a preguntar ahí. Cariño. Oh, <laughs> darling. Okay, darling. No. okay. Do you live in a house or, or in an apartment? I live in a house. How many bedrooms are there? Mm, four, four bedrooms. Is there a bath in the bedroom? No. It's a bath, no. Are there any armchair? Oh. No, I'm telling you. No, it's Oh. Is there an hotel room? No, in the office. <laughs> the Maria goes like, Dime prisa, Maria. All right, so. Is there in an office now? <laughs> ah, okay. Right, so. Now, if I object that are in your bedroom? In my bedroom, I have a chai. Yeah. I have a picture. Oh. In one bed. In one table. One TV only. Okay. What is your home? Place in your home. In my house, my father have two living room. Is I like in my favorite place in a uh, living two uh, with. With eh, que es fresca, teacher. Yo vivo en el campo, entonces aquí hay un montón de varas de bambú. <laughs> so it's cool. It's cool. Oh, in the living room too, it's cool. Okay. Los invito a mi casa. Excellent. All right, thank you. Okay, vamos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. So... Tamales, de, tamales de pato. Oh, Amazing. Delicious. Invitation. Let go. Con teacher and student. Of course. Claro. Right. So, teacher is uh, one. Very good. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you very much for participating in all the activities tonight. Realmente los felicito. Hoy se han estado más participativos en la clase. De eso se trata. Es la clase para que ustedes practiquen. Of course, right? So. Nuevamente, gracias y los felicito. Right, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Remember, good tomorrow night. tenemos clase, yes. please. Tomorrow we See have you classes. See you tomorrow. Now, tomorrow we have classes. See you like tomorrow. Bye-bye. So. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye. My friend, I love you. Bye, my friend. I can drive. I can drive.